Ron Ono, Parks and Recreation. I'm a landscape architect and administrative services manager uh, for the agency. Well, the Byway Master Plan, actually, the city has one for a number of years. When I got here, it, they already had one. We've uh, revised it once before, back in 1998. And now we're doing an uh, updated version through the circulation element. And the circulation element will include a pedestrian and bikeway master plan, uh, along with other elements in the in the circulation uh, report. Okay, this is a plan of our existing trail system, uh, the Santa Ana River, and our and our Golden Loop, which is partially completed. In order to actually complete the Golden Loop system, we need to take it up uh, to Santiago Park, and then Memory Lane, and the Memory Lane will eventually hook up to the Santa Ana River that will complete uh, what we call our City of Santa Ana Golden Loop bike trail system. Uh, our <coughs> proposed master plan indicates uh, 18 miles of class one. Class one is bike trails that's off-road uh, and uh, 46 miles of class two uh, uh, bike lanes and those are bike lanes in the street. Of those mileage, uh, we currently have 13 miles of class one and three miles of class two. So we need to do a more class two uh, implementations, which are lanes within the street in order to connect a lot of our trail system because there's not sufficient space for more class one. Um, living a green life, um, whether it be biking or you know, um, you know, recycling um, and and saving energy is important for young people to understand because that's the future to really having a more efficient um, environment. Um, I believe you know the having a bike master plan is important because um, it gives you choices besides walking or biking but most importantly it gives you an opportunity to exercise and to be out with your family um, in a safe area, and I think that's important. In fact, the bike lanes would help. Uh, right now, if you're riding the street, you're out there in the open. There's no demarcation on where the, where you're safe, so to speak. Uh, that's not to say the bike lane won't protect the, the bicyclists. It's, it just creates a separate lane for the bicyclists, uh, and uh, uh, that will be um, that the person driving the vehicle will be aware of, and hopefully. Uh, the bicycles would be more protective. To provide a uh, alternative source of transportation throughout our city that's uh, uh, environmentally friendly and provide healthy uh, exercise for residents through bicycling and, and uh, going to various locations in our city. To do a bike master plan, you have to hire a consultant and um, to do a lot of outreach in the community to see what are the best ways um, that we can integrate our bike lanes to connect from you know neighborhood to neighborhood. Um, so that's where most of the costs are. Funding was identified through a transportation funding source, uh, so that's already set aside. Once the plan is completed, then then the challenge is going to be to find the funding through grants or other funding sources to implement that master plan. I think if the bike lanes and bike uh, uh, class one trails go to certain destinations, more people will use it. People will use it to go shopping. People obviously will use it to go to school. Um, so. I think more people will use it. Yes, I do believe that our residents will use the bike lane. We have a lot of people that ride by bikes, and it's a safe way to get around. Yeah. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Or City of Santa Ana. You guys can get a move.